Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are on our way downtown Chicago. We are going to go to the Museum of Science and Industry. And the reason we are going there is we are going to be one of the first peoples to see the brand new Marvel exhibit. Uh, what is it? The Universe of Superheroes, right? Yeah. So we cannot wait to get down there. So without further ado, let's leave the house and get down there. Yeah. All right. Oh, this can only mean one thing. We are back at the Museum of Science and Industry. It is open once again. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Hello again. It's so good to be back. But we are here for the Marvel superheroes. Yes, the universe of superheroes. Look at that right there. Oh my goodness. It's just fantastic. Cannot wait to get in there and see this. So we're hoping that we can film in there. If not, we're gonna take a bunch of pictures at least. <laughs> so something I wanted to point out is that uh, when you enter the museum, they give you these little wooden uh, stylists. Oh, they got pictures on the stairs even, huh? Wow. But they give you these wooden stylists so you don't have to touch with your actual hand any kind of touch screens. And it's not wooden, it's cardboard. Oh, it's cardboard. So it's recyclable. <laughs> so this is how they do their stairs. So it looks like Spider-Man there with Vivian. Hi, Viv. Lose all our kids. Yeah, we didn't lose all of them. All right, Marvel Super Universe of Superheroes. That's what we're here to see. So, the museum opened at 10:30. No. It is 10:30 right now. It opened at 9:30. We had 10:30. We have 10:30 tickets. Sorry, and then uh, the uh, our uh, Marvel tickets are not until noon. So we have about an hour and a half to kill. That's where we'll be going in right there. Very cool. But look at look at all that. Look at look at look at. There's Miss Marvel and Black Panther over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at all this over here. There's Hulk and Thor and oh there's Doctor Strange and who's over here? Captain America. This is amazing look at this there's thor coming down it's gonna release the pain on on hulk that is pretty darn cool let's take a quick peek at hulk here hey viv let's uh let's get your picture in front of Hulk. So what do you want? You want to see the fairy castle, huh? Fairy castle. My favorite thing here. Okay. So let's check out fairy castle. So we are about to go into Marvel Universe of Superheroes. Our time to enter is noon. So we've still got about six minutes before we can enter the line. And then, and this is just gallery one. There is another gallery over there where you see the Hulk over there. Behind him, there's a gallery two. You guys excited? Very. Me too. An exhibition for the hero in all of us. Check it out. Marvel comic number one. The very, this is what started it all.
modern superhero first emerged in comic books in 1938 and it ignited a national craze with hundreds of costume crime fighters appearing during the early 1940s. And there's pretty much action hero number one, Captain America. Here is Captain America number one, punching out Hitler. <laughs> Meet Captain America. That was his sidekick. Everybody had to have a, a, a sidekick at the time. That was, that was young Bucky. <laughs> yep. I swear, that Wait, is that, Bucky that, Barnes. That's Bucky Barnes? Yeah. Look, look at this. Flash Gordon. I'm just a kid from Brooklyn. Interesting about Stan Lee. These colorful superheroes had to live somewhere. Why not New York? Because that's where I lived, and it was the one place I felt I could write about with a fair degree of accuracy. Yes, the war on comics. When they had to abide by the comic book code because they were saying it was rotting the minds of children. <laughs> so this exhibition includes many examples of rare original comic book art. So these are the actual drawings done by the, the men themselves, the Stan Lee, and so forth. I know. So this is Flo. She was actually the a real live uh, person that worked for Marvel Comics. She was like the receptionist. And uh, when you would go into Marvel, she was the first person you'd meet. Huh? And there's her story. <laughs> so there is a young Stan Lee right there. Look at that, Viv. He was with Kiss. <laughs> Stanley was with Kiss. I know we saw that. <laughs> oh, it's Groot. Tales of the Astonish. Groot. Look at Groot. Doesn't quite look the same. He as was a Groot. regular talkative alien bent on world domination. He yep. failed. <laughs> yeah. Dinosaur in his underwear. A dinosaur in his underwear. <laughs> Well, he had to have underwear on, it would, otherwise he would have went against the comic book code. But look at there's original artwork. Goodness. <laughs> A monster at my window. Original artwork there by Jack Kirby. And there's Jack Kirby right there. He was one of the first that Marvel as well with Stan Lee. Yeah, he was he worked on Captain America, Fantastic Four, Thor, Incredible Hulk, Nick Fury, Black Panther, and the original X-Men. Awesome. You got a lot to thank Jack Kirby for. Now this next wall I can't really show because there is a lot of copywritten material there about Stan Lee. Basically all his So this is Marvel's first family, was the Fantastic Four. Created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby in 1961. Okay, so here's uh, the thing. We can sit next to the thing. I think Becky and I is gonna take a Vivi and I's picture. Here's some more uh, original artwork from both Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. How you doing, Thing? He's pretty tired, he's reading. And there it is, the very first Fantastic Four comic ever. Fantastic Four number one. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, check this out. Look who is sitting around this corner, but Black Panther himself. Three, <laughs> Mighty Mouse, Three Dimension Comics, yeah. Got your three-dimensional glasses. Very cool. Over here we have original artwork from the movie Black Panther. And then of course the stars over here, but we're gonna see her costume. Black Panther's costume. Oh, and, you're, and we're also going to see her costume too. Right. And here they are. Shuri, Black Panther, and Pacovia. And here is Spider Man number one. Wow. Amazing fantasy. But it's it was actually Amazing Fantasy number 15, but this was the introduction of Spider Man. We had to get her picture. Okay. <laughs> So this is the mask that freaked Emerson out so bad. The Green Goblin mask from the original Spider-Man. She stood on the couch and just hugged me, hugged my head. Yeah. And there's the Amazing Spider-Man number 122, which introduced the Green Goblin. Look at this. This is the Spider-Man suit worn by Tom Holland as Peter Parker in Spider-Man Homecoming. This was, he seems tall. Yeah. This is literally how, how there's literally a piece of glass That's right. in between you. Yeah, <laughs> just a piece of glass in between you, Vivi, and something that Tom Holland wore. <laughs> Sitting over here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Tesseract. Screen used. And they would just make it glow blue. That is awesome. That is awesome. All that much trouble it yeah. cost. Yeah, look at all the trouble that thing caused. So this whole section right here tells you how comics are made from the originals to the inking department, to the copying, and so forth. Some more original artwork over here from the Incredible Hulk and Iron Man. And I have a feeling something cool is around the corner. Okay, I am in heaven right now. Here is the First Iron Man costume from the movie Iron Man that he made in the cave. A little battle damage on the original Iron Man costume. And the one from Iron Man 3. Robert Downey Jr. did wear these. These are the actual costumes, folks. Oh, check it out. This is from when he just had the yeah, when he just had the suitcase and it would just open up and there's, there's his arc reactor. His heart. The, heart. the actual costumes of Thor and Hela. And there it is. Molsnor. Molsner, I believe it is. Thor's hammer all the actual costumes. Miss Black Widow herself, actual screen worn costume.
Avengers. Even an android can cry, but check it out. Loki's helmet, worn by Tom Hiddleston. Hiddleston. Actual screen worn. Wow, that is awesome. Over here we have the Captain America screen worn uniform shield. And Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes costume, including metal arm. Made out of rubber. <laughs> and this Nick is Fury. the suit of Nick Fury. What is this? Oh, Ant Man. There's the size of Ant what Ant Man would be sitting on top of that folder. That's cool. Now we are on to gallery number two. So here we enter gallery two. Look at Daredevil. And look at this, Daredevil's costume. Now this one's from the TV show, I believe. This is not... Uh, yes, this is not that stupid movie. This yeah, is, not the movie. This is from the, uh, from the Daredevil the, the television movie. show. Which is way superior. So here's what we have to do. I am going to choose my favorite Marvel character. Oh, Vivi's going to? Yeah, okay. Sure she is. Okay. I guess we'll let the kid do it. <laughs> you can do it after. Spider-Man, of course. Thank you. Okay, so. It's a vote. He's got 16% of the vote. So Black Man. Okay. So if I had to pick one out of this group, my all-time favorite is not in here, but I would have to say, ooh, Doctor Strange is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Hulk. Really? Yeah, I love Hulk. Thank you. And Hulk has three percent. Okay, so mine isn't in here either, but my second. Or... Daredevil. Thank you. Here's our man. Daredevil is seventeen. 2% of the vote, 85,103 votes. Only one vote, 1% of the vote. Okay, that's the but look at all okay. of the toys, including the Fantastic Four car, the flying car. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh man, the very first Iron Man toy from the 60s. Look at Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would actually wear that. Look at Spider-Man web maker. Make your own real webs. Oh, I want that too. See, you were born at the wrong time, baby. You should have been born in the 60s and 70s. Here we go with the rest of the defenders, like Luke Cage. Oh, look at Luke Cage's bullet-riddled jacket from the TV show, Luke Cage. This is what he originally looked like when he first came on the scene. And here he is on the TV show. Ghost Rider. <laughs> the Tomb of Dracula. <laughs> and where there's Dracula, there's going to be Blade, the Vampire Hunter. This 
master of kung fu. But where are the claws of the cat? The thing. Man, this is awesome. Deathlock. Moonstar. Oh, right here. It's from Doctor Strange. You're in the Doctor Strange gallery. The Ancient One, her costume. And look at Doctor Strange himself, right there. Another one of the screen warm costumes. This is awesome. Oh my God, look at this superhero right here. And now we are in the uncanny X-Men. Don't miss this fabulous first issue with Magneto, Cyclops. Wow, look at these. These are awesome. The strangest superheroes of all. Look, when Captain Marvel was a man. <laughs> but she became a very awesome superhero look at her original costume there in the green cree oh thanos he's a baddie remember when i said my Favorite comic uh, book hero was not over there. This was my favorite right here, Silver Surfer. Ever since I was a little kid, I couldn't even tell you why. I just loved him. Oh, Miss Marvel. I love Miss Marvel. I think she is just awesome. Look at the size of that hand. She likes to slap people with that hand. about alien beings over here and I am Groot so Groot used to be able to talk but then uh, the whole species was poisoned I believe uh, was the uh, and then uh, they all lost their voice and the only thing they can say is I am Groot but look at this all the original props. Star Lords. That is awesome. There's Star Lords costume, Gamora's costume. The Guardians of the Galaxy.
guess what we have to do, folks? Exit through the gift shop. But they got lots of marble stuff here. But the question of the day, do they have a magnet for our refrigerator, Becky? I don't know, I'm looking if everybody wants a hat. <laughs> Let me guess, the Spider-Man one? Oh, that one's kind of cool. Yeah. I, uh, I'm digging that Spider-Man shirt right there. Oh. What do we got here? That looks like Marvel Universe of the Superhero Magnet. The science of Marvel. That is what we are going to get. It's only $4.99. $5. Okay, look at all <laughs> Funko Pops. Look at all this. <laughs> it's like a little soup thing. Coffee. I like the Thanos shirt right there. Uh, what's this here? Look at this. It is a. It's a journal with Captain America's shield. Punisher. I really like that shirt right there. That's really neat. Yeah. I like the Spider-Man one even more than the Captain America one, I think. But that one's cool. That's 3D. I like the Iron Man one. Ooh, Taskmaster. I like that. I believe Taskmaster is, Taskmaster is going to be in the uh, new... Uh, Black Widow movie. <laughs> Look, they got all the uh, action figures. These are these are sunglasses, so you can be Black Panther, Groot, Iron Man, or Spider Man. I like the little Groot right here. Oh, the little Black Panther too. Look at that. That's awesome. These are cute as heck, man. They even got the Miles Spider Man. I like that. They got a classic sticker book down there. And this is, oh, that's that's what you were just looking at. I like the little bumper cars too. Look at these up here. Hulk and Iron Man. So, Vivi, have you, real? I never thought I'd see the day where you picked Captain America over Spider-Man. So I did decide on my shirt. I'm gonna get the Japanese Spider-Man. Look at that, that is awesome. I love it. And the shirt is 30 dollars. It's a little high. It's a little high, but you know what? It's I've never seen this one before. Like I wouldn't get like a Captain America one because you can go to anywhere and get that for like 10 bucks, you know, or five bucks. So Vivi, what did you think of Marvel the Universe of Superheroes? I loved it. It was so awesome. Much. <laughs> it really was awesome. Just to see not only just the original artwork by some of the the people we I mean I grew up with you know Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and all those but to see all the uh out like the the the, uh, the costumes that were worn in the movies what was your favorite costume Tom you saw? Holland Tom Holland's <laughs> Spider-Man yeah I liked the whole the different Iron Man uh, oh, yeah. that you saw of the three different Iron Man and I know your mother went nuts over Loki's helmet. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but just to, even to see Thor's costume and stuff, that was and, that uh, was pretty cool. The bad guy from Ragnarok. What, what's her name? Helma. Oh yeah, Hella. Oh. Yeah, Hella. That that was pretty darn, darn cool too. That was quite the headpiece. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, it was it was really fun. Yeah. So highly highly recommended. Uh, I believe it's going to be there through the end of September. So if you have a chance to go, I highly, highly recommend it. Yeah. Two big thumbs up. I can't give you the other thumbs up. There it is. Uh, only because I'm holding the camera. Yeah. Um, but uh, just a little bit. I hope the wind isn't uh, messing this up. But um, just to let you know, the, muse the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago... They did such a good job 
with the social distancing and the masks and everything. I mean, it, it was just fantastic the way they timed everybody out. There was never really any big groups that you got caught in. Right. And you were always just kind of, you know, a little bit by yourself. I mean, there was a few people in front of you, but as long as you stayed six feet apart, they, they did a fantastic job, I thought. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... As always, if you like what you see, give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys next time on... Where the heck are the albums? Yeah! <laughs> Bye, everyone! Bye.